now it's time for us to go over to Tom at the law office of Bishop and Hayes. Tom, what can you tell us about their upcoming trip to Ukraine? Well, what I can tell you is, you know, you tend to think of if you're at a law office, eh, you're taking care of legal ah, Little do you know, we're going to talk about a humanitarian uh, uh, effort that we just happen to be with, well, on my far right, Tim Hayes, Bishop and Hayes, the law office of Bishop and Hayes. And next to uh, Tim is Dr. Todd Pearson. Thank you, gentlemen, first of all, for being with us. And explain what's, I mean, I said humanitarian effort. It, that's indeed what it is. But explain what you are all involved with right now. Yeah, uh, so we're getting ready to go on a it'd be primarily a medical mission. I've done several medical missions in my life, but a few years ago, this guy got me involved in going into war zones. So uh, now we kind of have a heart for that. And um, so we'll be heading to Ukraine tomorrow, uh, going into orphanages there, uh, children that are orphaned as a result of the war. Mm -hmm. We're going to go offer our services to do whatever we can. I'll be doing eye exams. Um, we've got children's ministry uh, planned uh, for these orphans just to kind of ease the burden of the, the war they're dealing with. So. Well, Tim, let me ask you, why? How, how did you get in, in, involved with this and why? Well, I'm blessed to, to have a job where I get to help people you know, that have been injured by negligence. Mm -hmm. But these are people that have been injured and hurt on purpose. And that is really, really causes a lot Com of trauma. Commission rather than and, omission. Yes, and yeah. that is, uh, it's a, just a blessing to have that opportunity. I have got to work with some great non-governmental organizations and ministries around the world that, from my connections in the, serving in the U.S. Army for a few mm -hmm. years. And uh, the opportunity was there, and Todd's a friend I've known for years, and I invited him to Iraq several years ago, and, and lo and behold, he said yes. And so now we're doing our fourth you know, war zone mission trip, and we're going to provide glasses. Kids need to read. They need right. to read the Bible, read their schoolwork. And this is an well, opportunity plain old to need do to that. See. Yes, yeah. need to see. Yes. So. Yeah. Now, okay, this is going to be a little different because... You all are bringing family with you as well. That's right. Uh, like I said, I've been on many, but I, my, uh, three of my kids and my wife are going on this trip. So uh, it's a, I went to Ukraine last year and got a, got a feel for it. Uh, two of my kids went then, and then now the rest of the family is going over to, to learn. And to, I, I hope to convey to them a heart for, for war zone and, and helping people in, in those situations. Yeah. Now, you know, ex-military, you've, you've been to countries and done this. How does it open your eyes as to the, 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 the plight or the living of people in these areas? Well, it makes you very grateful for our freedoms and, and the opportunities God's given us. But you, you see that fear. There's, there's poverty, there's need, and you have that all over the world. But when you put a layer of fear... That, 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 you know, that is over the top of it, it just exacerbates everything. It's a constant so, it, fear, I would So imagine. you really want to try to make the, the, the lives of those children mm -hmm. as, as improved as possible. And you can't, we're not going to change this dramatically across the board, but the kids we see, we want to change their life. That well, I would way. imagine every victory is a big victory. It, it, as every drop together to creates an ocean. Yeah. And we're trying to put our, put our drops in. What, what do you... What do you receive from the people that you are helping? What kind of feelings and emotions do you see on site? Yeah, well, especially with kids, uh, when you can help a kid see better, it, it can be a very rewarding experience. And, and I've often said that uh, most of the trips I go on, uh, you know, there might be maybe only 25% of the kids need glasses. And out of those 25%, five of them will be profoundly impacted. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and it's those five that we find that, that, you know, maybe just slipped through the cracks. We didn't know that they weren't seeing well. And you put a pair of glasses on them, and it just, it just changes their life. You open the world to them, yeah, Ashley. Absolutely. Okay, we've got about one minute. How can other people get involved with, with helping for Ukraine or other places that you might have gone? Well, we have great organizations based right here in town, mm -hmm. uh, both the Warriors Journey, uh, who I'm a part of right. on the board, and they're helping sponsor this, and Connect Church, a uh, church here in town with a lot of Ukrainian people that attend it. Right. They're helping as well. And then uh, one of the, they've assisted many times, the uh, Convoy of Hope 
is there constantly, day in and day out. Yeah. So if you, any of those organizations, you designate money to Ukraine or any other area in the world that needs anything, they can, they can get it there. But for Ukraine, those three are you know, wonderful, right here in town. Okay, and one final question. If you have some professionals out there, some other doctors, anything who would like to physically help, how can oh, they go call, about that? Call me here at Bishop and Hayes. My staff is always, they'll be here you know, half of next week. We're you know, closing down. That's why I often go to war zones over Thanksgiving week, because I can, can work more and not, not miss, miss my office. And so, but call my office, and we'll be happy to talk to you. All right, Bishop and Hayes. Give them a call. Be part of, I guess, maybe spreading Thanksgiving all over the world this way and helping people who need it. Back to you. Thanks so much, Tom.